Hi everybody, I am Kel Grace and I'm going to show you a higher updo technique using Milbon products. To start, we're going to take a section from her ear and her ear, right at the front of the ear, and we're going to go straight up to the crown of the head, like this. We're going to take a little bit of the Strong Hold Hairspray. This is great hairspray as I'm working throughout the hair. We're going to spray. This is the level seven hold. Number one is the uh, lightest strength and then all the way, the higher the number, the stronger the hold. All right, then we're going to take this and we're going to take a comb and just comb this through to our hand. You notice how I keep my hand here and when I comb it, I open my hand and grab it in. I don't let this hand move around. All right, and we're gonna comb the other side until it's nice and smooth. We're going to divide it in half, like this. Divide this in half, and we're going to create a tie. So just tie this hair like that. Create a tie, there you go. And we're gonna take a, a large bobby pin, and we're just going to slip this bobby pin in like that to create some hold. And we can always move that bobby pin later if it's showing. Okay, our next section, actually we're gonna use a clip. So uh, to clip these out of the way, all right, now we're going to take another section from behind the ear and behind the ear. We're gonna go straight up to meet the crown. We'll go as high as we can. We're going to use some Stronghold hairspray again. And we're going to, this is the level number seven. Spray, spray, spray. We're gonna take our comb and we're just going to smooth this out, or you can use a brush, whatever you like, or a soft bristle brush is always nice as well. And just comb this nice and straight. And now we're going to divide it in half, tie it like so, and there you go. And we're gonna create a large bobby pin in there. And then the tail, gently clip out of the way. Now we're going to the back and we're going to take all of this hair, pull it straight up as high as we can to match that tie. All right, take your comb, or you can take your brush, comb all of this hair so there's no big bumps in the hair. Okay. And then we're going to take some Stronghold hairspray. And we're going to smooth that out, divide this in half, and tie it, like so. Okay, be as close as you can to that other tie, and you're gonna put a bobby pin nice and securely in it. One more, because this is her last tie, and it's kind of near the um, where her head curves, so we don't want it to fall. Now we're gonna put her chin up, and we're gonna take some of the molding wax, take this clip out. This molding wax is a level number three. It's very nice to work with and it smooths the hair out beautifully. We're gonna use this on these tails. So I'm just going to take about a dime size, just like that, roll this into my hands. It's such a beautiful soft finish, has a tiny bit of a sticky hold, but just very subtle. And we're going to smooth out these ends like that. You see how this just polishes them just a little bit to give them a nice finish on the edges. We do not want this to have any frizzy ends. Okay, now we're going to take these ties and we're going to start looping them. We're going to take some large bobby pins. Now we're going to take this pin and we're going to slide this over and all we're going to do is create a loop like so. Just create a little loop and slide this in. We're going to take some ends and just loop away. Your ends are already polished with the wax, so we don't have to worry about our ends being needing to be finished. So just take this and loop that in. Okay, just going to loop that in. All right. So you're just going to keep looping and looping. You can always add more wax if you feel like it needs it. OK. 
okay. Take this. This is just a nice, easy base, and we're going to fluff it out a little bit afterward to create a little bit more texture. So just tie that in. Don't worry about that because we're gonna pull this apart later. All right, now we're gonna take this. Loop that in. All right, so you see how I'm just kind of filling out this up do with loops? It's so much fun. And every time you do this, it's going to be a little bit different because it's just kind of uh, depends on the texture of the hair and the client, what the client wants. It's just very, very fun to create. But it should be higher. This should be a little bit more around the crown of the head. Okay, take this and loop that in. That final tail, I'm going to take and loop. To finish, we are going to take our fingers, pull them apart, and we're just going to now widen this up. Do you take small bobby pins? So you see how that was a little bit of an eyesore? And now with small bobby pins, we're going to take this and it covers that totally. So just like that and pin that in. Okay, and then take this and pin that in. Take this, widen that, widen that, widen that, widen that. So you're just basically widening all of the loops to make it look a little bit more elegant. Now we're going to use some extra strong hold hairspray. This is a level number 10, so it has more hold. It's long lasting and it's super powerful to hold the hair in place. So we're now going to just spray this onto the hair for some finishing hold. And you can see this creates a beautiful, beautiful, strong finish. But it doesn't have too much of a sticky finish, which is great. Some hairsprays are very sticky to finish. So this one has a nice, strong hold, but you don't feel like you're plastering the hair. You're gonna go over to this side, see all these flyaways, watch this, spray, and then just gently comb with your fingers. Or you can use a comb. All right, and we're gonna use a small bobby pin and finish off this little piece here. It's kind of just there, perfect. Now I'll tuck that in. Okay, and then we're just going to Take this out. And this right here is a high tide updo using Milbon products. Super easy, so elegant. And remember, this can be done lower. All you do is take your sections and you start tying them lower. You can do them on the side, wherever you want it. But for a beautiful night out, for a wedding, this is elegant and it's very, very flattering. You can leave tendrils out depending on what the client wants. This right here is a high tide updo.